the American Sterling homopolar engine. When you receive the engine kit from American Sterling, it comes in a plastic baggie like this, and the parts are inside. The parts include a coil of very heavy-duty copper wire, a plastic container that has three very powerful magnets in it, and four alkaline batteries that can be used to power the engine. The first thing you want to do is take the copper wire and cut approximately a foot length off of it. After that, get a needle nose pliers, bend the wire exactly in half, and crimp the place where the middle of the wire is, where the bend is, to get it as tight as possible. With that done, you're going to want to take each of the individual wires and bend them back so that they come back on themselves as you can see in the video. And the purpose for this will be clear in a moment. The central portion, the place that you crimped originally, has to be fairly tight because it's going to sit on top of the battery. Take one of the batteries and put one of the magnets on the end that has the little nib sticking out. Put the battery inside the wire so that you can see where you need to make the next bend. The next bend should be right in the middle of the magnet and the bends should be at right angles to each other so that it, as you can see, almost looks like somebody walking. So you can see that the bends are in the middle of where the magnet is positioned. Now put the battery without the magnet in place and bend the wires around the battery with the two bends going in the same direction. The idea is that you want the wires eventually to just barely touch the magnet. Not, not enough so that there's any friction, but enough so that some contact can be made occasionally. So now if you take the bent wire and the magnet and the battery as shown and drop the wire in place, the motor should run. If it doesn't run, try to minimize the friction between the wire and the magnet. Have fun!